Have you ever heard of Russia's GTD-110M engine? If not, you're missing out on one of humanity's greatest inventions. This is not just an ordinary engine, it's a machine with the potential to change the entire aviation industry. But how will it do that? Why could it surpass other products from the West? Let's find out. First, we need to go back in time a little to understand why Russia made this engine. For decades, Russia relied heavily on Western companies like Siemens and GE to keep its energy system running. After the Soviet Union collapsed, Russia lost many skilled engineers, factories, and infrastructure needed to produce its own high-tech equipment. At the time, partnering with Western giants seemed like the smart move. They built efficient, reliable, and cutting-edge turbines. But this dependence came at a cost. Buying turbines was expensive and maintaining them was just as costly. Repairs and upkeep often required foreign expertise, adding even more expenses over time. It created a vicious cycle, trapping the country in a situation where it had to spend enormous amounts of money just to keep its energy system running, like having to borrow tools from a neighbor every time you needed to fix something in your house. Things fell into tragedy in 2022 when Western companies pulled out due to sanctions. Russia was thrown into chaos. There were no new turbines and no maintenance for the old ones. It was a simple but serious crisis. For a moment it seemed like the country's power grid might be unable to keep up, but this crisis sparked something within this country's engineering community. That's when Sergei Kov and his team at Ross Corporation stepped in. They knew they had to act fast. The goal wasn't just to patch things up temporarily, it was to create something Russia could truly call its own, something powerful enough to replace the foreign technology they could no longer rely on. This engine was born out of urgent necessity not just to solve a problem but to regain control, and that wasn't an easy task. When the sanctions hit and companies like Siemens and GE packed up and left, Russia had no other choice. Either they figured out how to build their own gas turbines, or they faced an energy crisis that could cripple the country. And let's just say building a turbine of this scale is no small feat. To get started, Sergei Kov and his team at Ross Corporation gathered some of the brightest minds in the country. They also partnered with companies like Power Machines, pooling resources and expertise from every corner of Russia's industrial base. While the main goal was to solve the energy crisis, this advanced turbine technology also had the potential to inspire breakthroughs in other fields like aviation. After all, the principles of efficiency, reliability, and precision in turbine design are just as crucial for power plants as they are for jet engines. Success didn't come overnight. In fact, there were some serious setbacks along the way, but instead of giving up, the team learned from their mistakes and kept pushing forward. Over time, they cracked the code piece by piece. Test after test, the engine started to take shape. From material science to precision engineering, every aspect had to be flawless. They also had to design it to withstand extreme conditions while being lighter and more compact than its foreign competitors, and they did it all in-house. By the time the turbine was ready, it wasn't just an engineering achievement. It was a statement. This nation had proven that it could rise to the challenge and develop a high-powered, efficient, and reliable turbine, 100% made in Russia. So, what makes the GTD so special? This isn't just another gas turbine, it's an engineering marvel designed and built entirely in Russia by Ross Corporation. The engine isn't just on par with international standards, in some cases, it surpasses them. First, let's talk about power. This turbine is a beast. It's powerful enough to supply electricity to an entire city, powering thousands of homes and even large industrial facilities. That's no small feat, but the engine handles it with ease. On top of that, it boasts high efficiency, meaning it generates more energy while wasting less fuel, an essential feature for keeping energy costs down. The second is the design. Compared to its Western rivals, the engine is lighter and more compact. This makes transportation, installation, and integration into existing power systems much easier. But don't let the smaller size fool you. It delivers equal, if not superior, performance. One of its standout features is adaptability. While it was primarily designed for power generation, its lightweight construction and advanced fuel efficiency reflect the kind of innovations needed for modern aviation engines. In fact, the research and development behind this turbine could pave the way for future breakthroughs in aerospace, where precision and durability are just as critical. Third, there are the materials. Ross Corporation's engineers have developed components capable of withstanding extreme temperatures and pressures, ensuring the turbine operates smoothly even in the harshest conditions. It's built to last, reducing the need for constant maintenance, a major advantage for long-term reliability. 
What truly sets the GTD apart, however, is that it's entirely Russian-made. From initial design to the final product, every component is developed and manufactured domestically. This independence isn't just a point of pride, it's a game-changer for Russia's energy security. The development of this engine has far-reaching impacts. It's not just a technical triumph, it's a major economic and strategic breakthrough for Russia. First, the economic benefits are substantial. By manufacturing turbines like the GTD-110M domestically, Russia no longer sends billions of dollars to foreign manufacturers, such as Siemens or GE. Instead, that money stays within the country, boosting its own industries. This shift means more investment in research, production, and local engineering. The turbine industry's growth also creates new jobs and strengthens the economy from the ground up. Next, let's consider energy security. Previously, Russia relied on foreign companies for critical energy infrastructure. This setup was risky, and the 2022 sanctions exposed just how vulnerable the system was. Now, with this engine, they take control. It's not just about powering cities or factories, it's about self-sufficiency. The country can now meet its energy needs without worrying about external suppliers pulling the plug. Moreover, the GTD positions Russia as a serious player in the global energy market. By proving it can independently produce high-power turbines, Russia fills an existing gap and opens doors for future opportunities. Ross Corporation can now export these turbines, generating a new revenue stream and expanding their influence in the energy sector. The GTD is not just a technical achievement, it's a lifeline for regions that need reliable energy to grow and thrive. Take the Uteria power plant in the Kodart region, for example. Before the GTD was installed, the plant had a capacity of 454 megawatts. With the addition of the turbine, it now produces 560 megawatts, an impressive upgrade, providing enough power to meet roughly 10% of the region's demand and supplying electricity to homes, businesses, and industries. Despite its success, getting to this point was anything but easy. Manufacturing a gas turbine of this scale is one of the most difficult technical challenges. Russia encountered specific difficulties along the way. For example, in 2017, during initial testing, one of their prototype turbines exploded. This was a harsh reminder of the complexity of this technology. From materials that must withstand extreme temperatures to the precise engineering required for everything to run smoothly, every component had to be flawless. These are not problems that can be solved overnight. The GTD turbine is not just an energy solution, but a testament to Russia's determination to reshape its global standing. It signifies a leap toward independence, challenging the dominance of global leaders in the energy market. While challenges remain, scaling production, ensuring reliability, and competing internationally, success could cement Russia's position as a formidable global player in energy. If you found this article useful, don't forget to share it with your friends and anyone interested in this topic. Let's follow Russia's next steps in the energy and technology sectors together, because, who knows, we might witness more historic milestones soon. Goodbye for now, and see you in the next episodes.